I'm uh, up here in the uh, mountains outside Shizuoka, Japan, and along this road, I've uh, stopped to go explore along this abandoned abandoned road. You here along the highway, there's an abandoned road that uh, goes into the forest here, and uh, the road quickly disintegrates and it becomes impassable. But the reason I want to explore here is there is a point where the road crosses the stream that is perpetually wet. And uh, in past years, I've uh, always seemed to, every time I pass through this area, <clears throat> I always seem to uh, acquire a leech or two on my body. And I'm pretty sure that I get the leeches in that moist area. So I'm coming down here today in hopes to uh, catch some footage of some leeches uh, waiting in ambush. Now I've, picked, I've chosen this day in particular. This is an early day. This is uh, June 2nd, uh, 2009. It's a chilly day high here in the high mountains, and I'm hoping that the... Uh, colder weather will uh, pr protect me from being ambushed too uh, strongly by the leeches because I'm sure they'll be after me if they can get a scent of me. And so let's head on down there and see if we can find any interesting animals uh, w lying in ambush in the uh, swampy, muggy, watery areas. Let's go! Now while walking along, I have to pay particular attention and be careful when uh, passing along places like this where my feet can brush against the foliage. The uh, leeches tend to lie in ambush <clears throat> um, in the greenery here, sometimes just hanging off of uh, little branches and twigs, waiting for something to pass by. And if I'm not careful, my uh, feet will uh, brush past them and uh, they'll grab on. So my strategy to uh, find some leeches is to simply uh, stand here <laughs> and uh, let them come to me. Now I've chosen this area which is a little bit dry, it's not quite as soggy as uh, it is over there. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'll have a better chance to uh, spot them coming. Seems like when I go to the other part they always seem to get to me first before I can see them. So I'll just stand here for a while and uh, act as leech bait and hopefully we'll see one uh, inching its way towards me soon enough. What you see there <coughs> is a very long worm. can't recall the name of this particular type of worm. They are distinct for having the uh, large head, head that looks rather like a hammerhead shark. You can see it right there. And uh, it's a very long worm. Planarians? Ah, some, the word isn't quite coming to my Come mind. across a very small frog. Plain dead. This is so tiny. Look how big it is compared to my ring finger here. What a tiny little frog. I'm pretty sure that this Japanese mountain leech is coming after me. Now I think it can sense the leech is on my shoe now, and I think you can sense the warmth within the shoe and it's trying to get to it. Let's see if it will gradually make its way up towards the you know, skin. I'm going to move just a bit to get some better light. <clears throat> now I have to be careful because as I'm sitting here, there are probably other leeches in the area. Slowly they're making their way towards me. Just to check for leeches elsewhere on my body. I don't see any. Okay. Stand back and get an eagle eye look. Now I can show you how I can just walk along. Just walking along. Don't even know a leech is on me necessarily. You look down, eh, it looks, everything looks fine. Let's just walk along with our nice little leech slowly making its way towards me.
the leech seems to be uh, very excited about the holes in my shoes here the uh, I provided for ventilation. I wonder if it's going to try to make it into the shoe through that slot. Oh, look at it go. Look how sneaky these little fellas are. Now, they can't bite through socks, so I have to be careful. He's got his head in there. What are you doing, little leech? There he goes, into the shoe, bye-bye. And off the shoe goes for me as the leech makes its way into my shoe. Well, that's it. That's how you get mountain leeches on you here in Japan.